welcome back students to one more session of your NEET on JE 2020 preparation. So all these days I've been sending you different reactions because of my busy schedule I just sent a small video earlier also that is reactions with action of heat. Now from today we'll be, we'll be starting off with just like you know organic chemistry in three days we'll be starting off with inorganic chemistry in seven days. I'll try to cover all the reactions which are there. I have planned for a strategy where I have separated different reactions according to their common sequence means whenever there is suppose we are all the water reactions of water like that so basically when i see inorganic chemistry what what type of reactions we have studied we have studied in grade 10 also inorganic reactions are classified into combination reactions displacement reactions double displacement reactions as well as decomposition reactions along with that we are also going to study a different type of reaction that is disproportionation reaction where we have both oxid with the same uh, compound undergoes both oxidation and reduction in inorganic chemistry like most of the students they get confused what is the confusion there are hundreds of reactions in inorganic chemistry so i try to sort out everything and i've compilements just like organic chemistry in three days inorganic chemistry i have given under common headings this will be very useful for you so before i start let me discuss we are going to do reactions in means which includes water reaction with sodium hydroxide that is a base reactions with acids reactions with in acids also i'll be showing you reactions of hcl acetic acid sulfuric acid nitric acid like that i'll also be showing you how is the reactions with ammonia that is one separate category of reactions we'll also be seeing later in inorganic seven days reactions with carbon carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide oxygen hydrogen along with these my series also includes the reactions which means there is no products only i'll show those reactions there is a special category again a very important reaction series it is a reaction with potassium iodide and also be sh I'll also be showing you reactions which involve the formation of complex complexes. So with all these, let us start off today. The first basic thing, I'll slowly go with the reactions and learn. You also, you know, take a paper, take an uh, A3 size paper, try to note all the reactions and you can practice along with me. This will cover the complete uh, book of NCRT and more and more of beyond NCRT also. So this will be useful for your JE exam as well as NEET examination. So let's start off inorganic chemistry in seven days the first part please do watch the earlier videos also right so suppose whenever there is addition of water reaction right so we very well know we are going to add water that is hydration reactions so here I have picked a common category like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide and O2 let's see one reaction after the other simple when carbon dioxide combines with water just see it is only addition simple addition H2CO3 okay so the first product is h2co3 i just added when carbon dioxide combines with water we got carbonic acid now sulfur dioxide combines with water so we'll get h2so3 sulfurous acid same thing h2co3 h2so3 now when sulfur trioxide combines because there is one oxygen extra write the first one h2 s is here 3 plus 1 4 simple addition isn't it right now the same thing <clears throat> suppose if no2 and water are adding same again concept write this but here in no2 one important thing you have to remember just like carbon dioxide forms carbonic acid sulfur dioxide forms sulfuric acid sulfur trioxide forms sulfuric acid nitrogen dioxide forms nitric acid remember that right Set. so now what is left now one hydrogen we have written here hno3 we have written what else is left right if you balance the reaction along with nitric acid you will also get no this is the product so remember the first sequence any gas which is reacting with water forms the respective acids simple isn't it right now let us see the next set of reaction here clo2 plus water and clo3 plus water isn't it right how should we remember this reaction so basically you have two hydrogens isn't it right so these two hydrogens. let me write one hydrogen here and let me write one more hydrogen here distributed now when i, when I balance the reaction because you uh, write the product balance the reactions you'll get two different products one product first for clo2 remember it will form hclo2 plus hclo3 two products it gets for clo2 you'll be getting hclo2 and hclo3 done suppose if you have clo3 
next higher oxides you get this hypochlorous acids that is HClO3 and HClO4 means what am I trying to do here just remember for O2 you get ClO2 and ClO3 for the O3 you will be getting ClO3 and ClO4 now once you balance the reaction it will be perfectly balanced right students right now next reaction we have one more set of reaction right so here let, let me move the page here let's see this what is this reaction basically in 2o plus water no plus water so for these two there is no reaction only okay does not form any product i will also discuss this very soon so remember so for these two there is no product formation now let me come back and start with the next uh, combination that is your halogens plus water so it's quite common in all this fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and phosphorus p4 and s8 also done yes now let us write so whenever fluorine combines with water the first thing there are two hydrogens here isn't it so <coughs> write this take this hydrogen first one this combines with this hf and o2 right so you need to balance i'm not balancing the reactions just see what is this called this is called ozonide oxygen next when i take chlorine plus water when i take bromine plus water almost the products in both the cases are same just see here if chlorine plus water reacts you get hocl if bromine plus water reacts you get hobr or hbro so hocl one is over what is left now we are left with hcl HOBr is over. What are we left with? HBr. Done, students? Yes. Now, suppose when I take iodine reaction with water, right? So, there is no reaction for this. You should remember this. And what is the speciality of this reaction? In this reaction, the bromine here, you will be, you'll be getting, see here, one, it is in plus one state, one here, it is minus one state. So, what is the type of reaction? This reaction is called the disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. Right? So, here bromine is undergoing oxidation and reduction. What is the name of this compound? It is called hypobromite. Hypochlorite, hypobromite. Right? Now, further, when S8 and uh, water combine or if <coughs> P4 and water combine, there is no reaction right so here also i'm writing the same thing no reaction no reaction but under special conditions certain components you you can find products in certain conditions only so hope the set of combination of uh, chlorine bromine iodine is clear students right now let's come back and move i'll move my page a bit more let's see this hope this uh, the page is clear to you all let me check my camera yeah right suppose when i take p4o6 when i take uh, the combination with hot and cold right so just see there are two conditions which you should remember the oxides of phosphorus when they combine with hot uh, that means the water is hot in condition the first product which you get is H3PO4 and PH3 phosphine very important reaction and suppose if it is combining uh, with here, oh no, one second, students. This is uh, let, me, let me take this out. This is your hot condition. This is your cold condition. Let me. I'm sorry for that. Right. When you when you have hot condition, it's going to form H3PO4 and phosphine. But when it is cold condition, right, it's only going to form H3PO3. This is a reaction. Sorry for this inconvenience. Suppose if you're taking P4O8 and P4O10, it combines with water. Both, you'll be getting the same product, just like this. What is that? You get a combination of these two, H3PO3 and H3PO4. Suppose if you have P4O10 and water, the product formed is H3PO4. So why did I classify this? This whole set are oxides of phosphorus, isn't it? Right. Uh, so <clears throat> I wanted you to see the difference between these at hot conditions, cold conditions and the, uh, when it is combining normally. So I have classified under that category and kept. Right. Suppose if here, here you have SO4 and water. Right. So just see again the same thing. SO4 or SF6. SO4 will comfortably combine with water forming product sulfurous acid plus HF. 
but SF6 there is no reaction only. Remember this. Yes, students. So, I think uh, little bit classification, I think I tried to make it easy for you all and <laughs> nothing to get confused. Just see. Now, one more no reaction we will see. NF3 and water. Remember, this here also there is no reaction at all. It does not combine. But when I take your NCL, NCL3, NF3 does not combine, it does not form any product. But when it is NCL3, yes, let me move my page again. Let me fold the page so that it is easy for you. Yes. So, when I take NCL3, NF3 we have written no reaction. Now, NCL3, when I take the uh, 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 particular compound, just see, it comfortably forms HO. Cl. The first product is HOCl and the leftover is NH3. Done. Suppose if I take BF3 plus water, this is NF3 and Cl3, BF3 like that, I have written fluorides of that. Here it is going to form H3BO3. H3BO3 and it is also going to form a complex HBF4. If I take the same tellurium, again it is going to form a uh, com compound that is HX, TOX, O6 plus HF. Now SIF4 is going to form 4 SIO4 plus HF. Now, yes, students, yeah, I think a little bit uh, classification I have done. Let us see one more reaction. Suppose when I take this combination. Okay, this is uh, SOCl2 combination and SO, uh, SO2Cl2, sulfuric thionyl chloride, both are there. So, whenever SOCl2 combines with water, the product which you get is H2SO3 plus HCl. Suppose if you have SO2Cl2, the product which you get is H2SO4 plus HCl. Remember this difference, that is why I have written it together. Now next reaction and the basic reaction metal plus water we have learned this reaction which class we have, we have learned this reaction in 10th class isn't it what is metal plus water what does it give sodium plus water gives me sodium hydroxide calcium plus water gives me calcium hydroxide magnesium plus water gives me magnesium hydroxide and iron plus water gives me Fe2O3 this you can just warm it here you have to boil it but everywhere you there is a release of hydrogen gas metal plus water there is a release of hydrogen gas you have to remember that simple isn't it right suppose if you have the next combination that is pcl3 uh, ascl3 sbcl3 and bicl3 combination how does how do the products form remember whenever you have such combinations first thing Antimony chloride and bismuth chloride, the products are almost the same. What are the products for SBCL3? You get SBOCL, SBOCL. For BI, you get BIOCL. What is left out? HCL is left out. You need to balance students. I have not balanced it. And for PCL3 and ACL3, again the products are a bit different. Arsenic chloride combines to form arsenic hydroxide and HCL. When it is PCl3 plus water, it is going to form H3PO3 plus HCl. So, everywhere if you have to balance, 3 water molecules will be there. Here, 3 HCl will be there. Again, 3 water molecules, 3 HCl. Like that, please balance it. So, this is one set of reactions with water. Now, if I have to take the next set, what is that? Here, I picked up the carbides. The carbide form, uh, carbide form of this, so like aluminium carbide, beryllium carbide, uh, calcium carbide, like that I have picked up the carbide, magnesium carbide and everything. So uh, normally this carbide reactions with water quite common in most of the uh, question papers. So I thought I will make that as a set and give it to you. Right? Yes. So let me write. So when it, whenever it is, it's the same. Remember, whenever you have carbides, for all the things it is hydroxide. Just see, carbide plus water, it will become beryllium hydroxide. Here, aluminium with aluminium carbide, it forms aluminium hydroxide. Valency is two. Valency is three. Here, calcium combines, it forms calcium hydroxide. Aluminium combines again, it forms 
aluminium hydroxide here magnesium forms it forms magnesium hydroxide right so we are going to take and remaining things you need to balance it always whenever beryllium combines it forms different different hydrocarbons for you see for beryllium and aluminium the hydrocarbon formed as methane for calcium and aluminium for these two the hydrocarbon formed is c2h2 for magnesium the hydrocarbon formed is propyne so let me balance this for you mm, this is 4 this is 2 then this is almost 12 this is 3 again this is 2 okay this is 2 here and here when it comes it is 6 and this is 2 aluminum and this is okay then magnesium if i have to take this is 4 uh, magnesium hydroxide this is 2 And this is also three here. Okay, six three three here. So this is the combination. So remember, beryllium and aluminium will give beryllium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide with methane evolution of methane. Here, calcium carbonate, aluminium carbide, but this is C three and this is C six. So you'll get calcium hydroxide, and aluminium hydroxide, and you get C two H two. Right, right. So next, one more set of reactions. This is very important reactions, student. Just see, in inorganic chemistry, there are certain questions where they will ask you to write the product, but there are certain reactions which doesn't give form any product because of the difference in reduction potentials. It will be one will be above and one will be below in the series, electrochemical series. So I have listed out certain reactions which will not give products. So these are called as no reaction reactions. so the first commission all these keep noting these will not give and one will be less reactive one will be more reactive than that the less reactive metal we can't replace the more reactive metal so that also would be one of the reason so i have listed out these are the certain reactions which will not give any or which will not perform any product so hope students i am clear about this i'll again come back to you all with one more set of reactions as i told you i'll be doing reactions of acids all reactions of inorganic chemistry i'll be doing reactions of all reactions with bases all elements with acids all elements with bases all elements with silver nitrate all elements with nitric acid dilute and concentrated all elements you know like uh, combinations of different different like uh, reactions with carbon carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide oxygen and water i'll also include complex reactions in my series i'll also be doing reactions with kcl right students so thank you for watching this is from my side signing off just take care please uh, note everything i have done i am showing you to you again the whole set of reactions how i made so this whole set of reactions please note it clearly yeah and i'll come back uh, get back to you again with next set very soon please do watch and share the videos stay happy always